qué gringo. Eh, señor, you want a guide? Hotel, señor. Hotel? This is the cathedral? Show you around the town, señor. Prison. Precious the paper. He's only got two hours to live. Dr. Henry Price. Doctor? MD. Colonel Cascoro, sit down. I ain't gone down. I'm sorry we meet under such unpleasant circumstances. Yes, so am I. But I hope I may still profit from the opportunity. Uh. I would like to ask a favor.
Let's have a look at him. So if I understand you right, Doctor, according to this scientist you were speaking of, this Lombroso, you can tell who's a criminal just by the shape of his face. The criminal type can be identified, Colonel. Cranial circumference, cheekbones, ear lobes, teeth. What about the rear end? <coughs> uh, uh. From comparative observation of these features, the trained eye can usually detect criminal tendencies. Well, that could make my job very easy, Doctor. All persons with certain facial characteristics subject to immediate arrest. My studies hardly include such assumptions. Colonel, could you arrange for my consultations with the prisoner to be in more suitable surroundings? How about the cemetery? He's going there tonight, 6 o'clock, compadre. Can you postpone the execution? Well, Doctor, it's not up to me, it's the law. The law is just for the people who can read. It's the law. It's the law of the new government, it's Madero's law. Madero doesn't know anything then. Madero would never do this to me. You are the one. Mother doesn't know anything about it. I follow his orders. Mother isn't a traitor. He will never be a traitor, Mother. He signed the death sentence. Personally. That's not true. You're a liar. You're a liar. Truth. You're a liar. That's not true. Liar. Go up! 
Everything yellow. Qué bonito. Dude. Here the sky is yellow. <laughs> Wait. Don't tell with the fish. Well, well. I'm going to speak with President Madero. My pistol, mm. please. Muchas gracias. Uh. Hmm? Hey. What are you doing? I want to kill you. If you saved me before. Because I want to kill you myself. Go. Go. Quando è finito di farti il caffè, ricordate che devo andare dal presidente Madero, eh? Io sono inglese. E bevo il tè. Americano, inglese, tutti biondi. Uè, sai che facciamo? Io guido e tu spingi, va bene? Ho detto che adesso io guido e tu spingi. Put the brakes on. Put the brakes on! Oh!
You are alone? Yes. You are North American? No. And you like Mexico? No! Mexico? ¿Por qué? Paquito. Don't disturb the gentleman. Perdóneme, señor. Boys. Never seen a doctor. You ask too many questions. Always. To some questions, it is better not to know the answers. Do you understand, senor? You know what they call me, senor. El Piojo. The louse, because I can't wash myself. I can't even scratch. Comprendes? Don't you like Mexico? Sergeant! 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 No news, senor. The British Embassy has made no answer. I can't stay here. You've got to put me in another cell. There are no other cells, senor. I'll pay. No, it's possible. How much? Dollars, senor. Yes, dollars. No es posible. Uh, un momentito, señor. Government pay isn't much. And there are six in my family. Like an old mother. You can get in next to her. I guess I don't have to worry. Do I, senor? <laughs> what? Adios.
<laughs> Congratulations, doctor. Already married. Mm. Perdone, señora. <laughs> I'm busy, Te Pepa. Un momentito. Francisco. Si, Te Pepa. Toma. <laughs> Buenas noches, señores. Buenas noches. Raúl. È stata un'ottima idea, te prego. Sei venuto per me. Uh, per Pedro. Pedro! Qui! Pedro! Contrabbando, eh? Biga mia. Hm? Che roba è? La mia seconda moglie contro la legge. Coraggio. Indietro. Indietro! Va bene, va bene. Dynamite speaks louder than my voice, eh? I thought you didn't want to go back, cabrones. Now what do you feel, Steve? Come on. That's it, get up. Pedro. Pedro. Pepe. Sí. Te pepa. Pedrito. Te pepa. Pedro. <laughs> Compañero. Mio, sí. <laughs> Te pepa doesn't forget his friend, eh, Pedro. Te pepa. Te pepa. <laughs> Qué rito, te pepa. <laughs> Who are you, amigo? Belongs to you, my son. Mm -hmm. And his mother? Dead. Mm. Well, you're not going to buy it anyway. <coughs> mm. How did it happen? The rallies. Killing.
Doctor, did you leave your wife already? Amigo, this blonde man is an English doctor. Hombre importante. He wants to kill me. <laughs> That's enough, that's enough. That's enough! ¿Qué pasa aquí? Kill him to pepper. Hmm? No. He's just a very sentimental man, the doctor. E tu? Anche così posso esserti utile. Non ci rimandare via, compagnero. Va bene, va bene. Un altro paio di mani lo troveremo. What for? Because he was a friend of Tepepa. Dio mio, Dio mio. Che atrocità. Che atrocità. Distruggere queste belle mani bianche, delicate. Paese il nostro. Che paese disgraziato. Paese triste, infelice, povero il Messico. 
di tutti quelli che conosco, solo due. Solo due sapevano scrivere. Uno non potrà più farlo perché non ha più le mani. E l'altro è morto. Che vergogna per il Messico, compagneros. Un paese dove soltanto i ricchi, i preti e i generali sanno scrivere. E quello che scrivono non lo sapremo mai, perché non siamo capaci di leggere niente. Siamo un branco di ignoranti. Siamo un branco di ignoranti, però... però... Vamos, muchachos! Right. All right. I give you the pistol. You write the letter. And then you try to kill me. Come on. Signor Eccellenza Madero. Mm. Signor Eccellenza Madero. No, 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 no. Dammi, dammi, dammi. Eh, si, signor Madero. No, no. Signor Madero. Presidente Madero. Mm. Compagnero Madero. Compagnero Madero. Compagnero Madero. Do you remember? The 23rd of November, uh, 1909, uh, in the border mountains in that cabin at Utsko, where you were hiding, waiting for my father. Jesus Jose Moran. Jesus Jose Moran, that was my father. Uh, in that place, in that place, that was mine. Compañero, ti ricordi mio padre con un messaggio di Pancho Villa? I rurales li avevano sparato per strada. Do you remember my father with a letter from Pancho Villa? With a letter from Pancho Villa. The rurales shot him on the way, but he brought you the message just the same. Señor Madero. Señor Madero. Señor Madero, de rurales abundo mi padrecito. Do you know where your father went? 
Sí, señor. And do you know how to get there, too? Oh. Oh. Sí, señor. Oh. Then go. Many things depend on you. Ti ricordi che fretta avevi, compagno? Dicevi che la rivoluzione non aspetta. Non aspetta. E non me l'hai fatto vedere morire mio padre. Let us continue, Doctor. Do you remember the 30th of January, 1911, outside Mexico City, and we were the victors? Si, señor presidente, I took this rifle from the army to fight against the army. And now I have to give it back to the army. Who won? The revolution or the army? The revolution. And the army? L'esercito è al servizio dello Stato. The army is at the service of the state. The state? The organization of all the citizens. Rich and poor. Rich and poor. We have made a mistake, uh, Senor Presidente, because everything is like before. No. The rich will be less rich, and the poor, less poor. How are you going to do that? With new laws, enforced by the army. 
By the same army we fought against? Yes. Then? See. Si. <laughs> Vedi, signor Madero, io ho fiducia in te che dici queste cose. Ma è difficile per me credere alle cose che dici. Gentlemen, I think now is an excellent time for you to tell us what you think. Eh, hey, General? A General doesn't think. Signor Presidente, he obeys. He does not obey the rich, nor the poor. He obeys his country. Hmm. Hai visto? Tu hai detto Stato e lui ha detto Patria. Ieri si sono ammessi anche i poveri a far parte della Patria. I'm sorry, signor Presidente. There are many things I don't understand anyway. Uh, it's a pity because it's, it's a very beautiful rifle. I want you to keep it. And uh, if someday we need it, you give it back. Everything will be all right. You will see. Speremos en Dios, señor. But it wasn't all right, compañero Madero. You don't remember August 22nd, 1911? August 22nd, 1911. Because you weren't there, and I am sure nobody told you about it. But I was there that day, working on the Hacienda. You see, compañero, before the revolution, the place belonged to Don Calixto. During the revolution, it belonged to the peons. After the revolution, it belonged to Don Calixto again. You should all be happy to see that Don Calixto here has returned from Europe. But maybe you're not happy. Too bad. He's back anyway. Naturally, he will take possession of his house again. And his land. All of it. Is that clear? No, senor. Who are you? Jesus Maria Moran, de Pepa, Tierra Libertad. Quite a name, Chico. But what does it mean, this land and liberty, taking the land from those it belongs to? Ask President Madero what it means. I wouldn't dream it, Chico. I'm not as impertinent as you are. But we must all of us obey the law, mustn't we? You don't seem to agree? Uh -uh. No, signor, no. Why? Primo, perché noi abbiamo fatto la rivoluzione. E secondo, perché l'abbiamo vinta, signor. Mm. E c'è una terza ragione per violare la legge? There is a new law. Presidente Madero's land reform. It's not a law yet, Chico. First, it must be drafted and presented to Parliament. The Parliament must discuss it and then maybe approve it. Till that happens, the law will continue to protect private property. The landowners will go on owning their own land. Mm. No, senor. Si, senor. No, no, that is not possible, senor. First, because we fought the revolution, and second, because we won it. Times have changed. I am the law, Chico. And you, you are nothing. And you are starting to bore me. You're under arrest. Now, 
No, senor. I might know things. You're a man who'll be sentenced to death. We better get out of here before our friend starts to get reckless. At dusk? You go with him, Don Calixto. Relax, Don Calixto. You'll be back. At your convenience. Adelante. Back on the oath. And in fact, they did come back. All those peons are dead. Bueno. Because the machete is one thing, and the rifle is another. Tranquilos. Tranquilos. I was alone, and it seemed impossible that the revolution had served nothing, compañero. We must meet. And if you don't call us out again, then this time, I must. I kill you! I kill you! Fine. Jesus. Maria Moran. Colte Pepa. Tierra y Libertad. Madero, tutto quello che non c'è scritto nella lettera. E tu sta attento a Paquito. Piojo, vai con Dio. Addio, papacito. Addio, Piojo. Addio, Pepa.
la paz dopo che ho finito io. Ehi! Hey. Ehi! Francisco! Juan! Fategli prendere un po' d'aria! Tiene balas. Come? È scarico. Probabilmente appendicite. Mm. Mm. È una cosa brutta. Può morire se non le si toglie l'appendice. Di che hai bisogno per levargliela? Eh? Almeno un po' di luce. E tutto l'alcol che riuscite a trovare. She needs plenty of rest, wet her forehead and lips, but don't let her drink. See, doctor? Look, look at that line. A man like you is important here. I've never seen a doctor in their life. You should stay. We need you here. Doctor, come here. Credo che ora che tu e io ci conosciamo meglio. Io ho pensato molto a te. E credo. Dico, ho deciso che tu. Sei più ignorante di tutti noi. E vuoi sapere perché? Perché tu magari sai un sacco di cose sulle budella, le, le orecchie, quella pendicite là, il naso. Ma dell'anima non sai proprio niente. Pensaci un po', scusa. How stupid can a person be to want to kill a man he doesn't know? 
Don't you agree? Are you sure I am the man you want? Because I've never seen you. Huh? Jesus Maria Moran. Call to Peppa. No, 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 just a moment because... because there are two different things. Jesus Maria Moran or to Peppa. Te Peppa. <laughs> That's why Mexico is full of te Peppa. In Santa Cruz is it a pepper. In Yucatan is it a pepper. In Guadalajara is it a pepper. In Mexico City there are the peppers. In this town is it a pepper. It's full all over the place. Madre, madre, how many te peppers are in Mexico City? Many. Only one te pepper fought the revolution in Morelos. I have never been in Morelos. Never, 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 never. You don't believe it, eh? Francisco! See the paper. Benica! What the paper? Francisco. We have fought the revolution together, right? True. And uh, we have been always together, right? Yes. Uh, have we ever been in Morelos, Francisco? Hmm? Never, the paper. Never. You still don't believe me. Okay. I don't know what you think about your mother, but to me, my mother's important. I swear on my mother's head. Where? The Peppa! Matero is here! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> ¿Dónde está el presidente? Where is he? He'll meet us on the road to Toluca. Mm -hmm. Mm. He met us on the road to Toluca. On the road to Toluca, uh, Marietta. Marietta! Marietta! Paquito! 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 Si, sí, papacito! A present for you. <laughs> Let's go, Piojo. Piojo, what are you waiting for? Come on. Paquito, I want him to be Madero. Madero, can't you wait for this nonsense? Come on. No, I must wait for the boy. Exactly, like Mendoza. What is a Mendoza? Guarda, credimi, te lo giuro. È il ritratto di Mendoza soltanto per lui più piccolo. And who is Mendoza? An admiral. Who we shot in Morelos before he died in Bastrosen. Viva, viva, long live the Navy! Almirante, vamos! Ta -da, ta da one, two, three, four.
Take your time for your home. My dad is not in a hurry. The longer he waits, the happier he is. What's the matter with you? Huh? Come on, give me Paquito. Come on. I'll carry him. No, we are almost there. Wait. Peppa, there he is. No escort, just Madero. I see. Why do you say he doesn't have escort, Piojo? Because there is none. That's what you wanted, no? Mm. Yeah. That's what I wanted. It's very difficult for a father without hands to feed a boy without mother, right, Piojo? I think so. It, it is very difficult, right, Piojo? Huh? See. Si. And it's more difficult to find a bigger radio than me, right, Piojo?
Father? Dead. The Rorales? The paper. The paper. I shot all of my bullets. The paper. We trade us. No. Not him. Someone more important, unfortunately much higher position. Señor Presidente de la República, Don Francisco Madero, has betrayed all of you, Mexico and the revolution. And as long as one single peon in Mexico, one of you, doesn't have a piece of land, it is Madero's fault. And as long as in Mexico, just one, just one rich landowner is left in this country, it is Madero's fault. And as long as in Mexico, just one rural, Shoots, killed, and burns like here, it is Madero's fault. And if Madero doesn't know, the fault is his, all the same. And more he doesn't know, the fault is more his. Compañeros, you think it's right if Madero betrays the revolution? Should we betray it too? No! Do you think that is right? That is Madero laid down? Should we lay down too? No! Do you think that is right that if Madero squats, do we squat with him? No! No! If Madero squats, we shall go out of Madero! Straight ahead. You won't miss you that Juarez, don't worry. Vamos, Paquito. He's coming with me. Hmm? Going with you. Yes. <laughs> to America, eh? <laughs> but if you're going to America, you're going to need money, Paquito. This belongs to your father, so now it's yours. Take it. Take it, Paquito. Take it. That's it. 
Ah, what a life, a eh, doctor. We come, we go. <laughs> One thing I'm happy, though. That you changed your mind about me. I haven't changed my mind about you. Let's say there's a reasonable doubt, that's all. <laughs> Where there's a doubt, there's a hope. Eh? Adios. Vaya con Dios. Fine men, fine weapons, and fight again like before. Dr. Price? The train for California leaves at 5.30 this afternoon. Thank you. Come. Would you make out my bill, please? Oh, yes, sir. Think of leaving us, Doctor? So soon? You didn't have a pleasant stay in Mexico? It was an interesting and instructive experience. I might suggest a longer stay. Twenty years, maybe. If I remember the criminal code correctly. from your uh, studies on the paper. The cheekbones, the forehead, the earlobes of the paper. Contradictory, the Lambrosian theory is not absolute. Oh. Certain physical characteristics do not always correspond to a criminal tendency. Is that so, Doctor? Yet police records always correspond to the truth. Who's this? What's your name? Pereira. Pereira. Huh. I knew your father. He did his best. Too bad. And the money? Did the paper? No. Why not? His father took it. The boy's father took it for him. Paquito! All right, wait for me upstairs. I won't be long. You won't be long? <laughs> oh, no. I made quite a trip here to speak with you. I wouldn't want to think I was wasting my time. Jesus Maria Moran called the paper. You're sure we're speaking about the same person? Yes. January 15th, 1910, Morelos, Hacienda of Don Juan Consalvo de Coruña, witness Eduardo Ordonez Peon. It was four in the afternoon. That morning we had refused to work. Il padrone non ci pagava neppure quel poco che bastava per comprare una manciata di mais per i nostri figli. Ci eravamo radunati su Raia quando gli azienderos ci vennero a prendere. Tu, 
И ту, и ту. Были? Мигел, the head of the guards didn't explain anything. He just picked out five of us. They stripped them. They always did that when they were going to whip us. A few days before, one of us died from a whipping. Etc., etc., etc. The rest is of no interest. Oh, yes, here it is. Witness Carlos Santa Maria Peon. He had already whipped the first four. Now it was Juan's turn, etc., etc. That's of no interest either. Let's continue. Ah, here it is. Suddenly, a band of horsemen rode in. The one called Tipepa fired the first shot. Witness, Senor Vicente Moreno, bookkeeper. I saw Miguel die, and I saw who killed him. I ran to warn Don Juan in his house close by. Don Juan! Madero's men! They killed Miguel! There is no need to shout. How many are there? Witness, Senora Maria Virginia Escalante, housemaid. I was in Senorita Consuelo's room. She had just finished her bath. Francisco, take her away, the old witch. No! 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 no!
Francisco. I said to take her away. Sergeant Luis Siqueiros, Chief of Police of Coruña. There was nothing we could do for Senorita Consuelo de Coruña. I knew she was going to do something. But we arrived too late. Senorita, senorita! This is all, Doctor. This is other paper. If you're still interested in it, maybe we can reach an agreement. doing here? Come inside. Come in. Mm -hmm. My wives. Upstairs. Padre? È morto. Oh, mi dispiace. So che ne hanno uccisi molti. È vero che c'è stato qualcuno che ha fatto la spia? No, non è vero. Ma dicevano così in paese. E te, Pepe? Dov'è adesso? Nelle montagne. Nelle montagne. E dove? Sulla sierra. Ascoltami, figliolo. Te Pepe e gli altri sono affamati di armi. Per me Te Pepe è sempre stato un buon cliente e basta. Ma per te dovrebbe essere qualcosa di più. O sei diventato amico della polizia? Take them, Mr. Chu, but I can't pay you. <laughs> the boy has already paid me. Hmm? 
Muchas gracias, Paquito. So you bought me all this with, with your own money? It was money from the government. And uh, how did you know it was uh, money from the government? Cascoro said so. Uh -huh. uh, Juan, take four men and uh, have a look around the mountains. Va. Muy bien, te pepa. Vamos. Mm. Paco. Where do you see Cascoro? With the gringo. Listen, load everything. We have to get out of here. Cascara is coming. Uh, Senor Chu, where are you going? To Ciudad Juarez. Oh, no. You're staying here, Senor. Atención! Compañeros! We are going to need water. Save all the water you can. Every single drop. most important thing for a man who wants to cross the desert. Water. And uh, if a man makes a big supply of water, what does it mean? That he's going to cross the desert. Yeah. If you understood that, Cascoro will understand it too. How? Because it's the only thing that Mr. Shu told him. And if Senor Chu didn't tell him? <laughs> he told him, he told him.
Potter. Capitan, look there. They're in the desert, two miles out. We saw them. Coronel. Adelante. I know it's not part of the bargain, but I don't want to take any risks. Stop the motor. these men. They are noises and they worry because they don't know what it is. They see it's only goats and they stop worrying. But where do the goats come from? Nobody seems to wonder about that. Instead, there's a great deal to wonder about. Carol's women! and start the cup. Let's 
have killed that traitor. No, he's a prisoner. Mira.
pasa, mi coronel? It's broken. Ay, ay, ay. Good. Get out, we must go. Go. Where? Well, for what we have to do, we don't want to be alone. Ti ricordi che ci avevi certe idee tue a proposito di Tierra e Libertà? E allora io ti porto in un posto dove parlerai delle tue idee in pubblico. La 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 li, la 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 I'm sorry, mi coronel, but I don't have another horse. Ta 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 ta. La 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 la. La 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 la. Pathetic now, me coronel. Do you want to make me cry? Well, I won't. <laughs> Compañero Cascorro has come here for a reason. He would like to make a speech and talk to you about... Doctor, the paper wants to live. 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 to you about, about that girl in Morelos. <laughs> mm. We didn't know each other then, so I didn't know that girl was, uh, was yours. Yo creo que le piacese. I did what? What a man does with a woman. The same things you did. Quello che faceria anche tu. Anche tu, anche, anche tu, anche tu. You see, doctor, what I mean is that all, all women are alike and uh, 
God has made them all the same way. Right? And then what is a girl compared to revolution, doctor? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Doctor, just a moment. A doctor must say, right? Eh? I'm sorry. I know, I know. A stupid question, I'm sorry. I, I know a doctor must say. Of course, a doctor must say. <laughs> A doctor must save. A doctor must save. A doctor must save. A doctor must. Do you imagine, doctor, if you would have killed me because of a señorita? Grazie, doctor. He's dead.
Why? Didn't you like the gringo? No. That gringo didn't like Mexico. <laughs> Mexico, Mexico, need to